wanted to do a superhero movie for like 20 years. We were approached originally to do a TV show with it, and but there was so many restrictions and so many uh, stuff we couldn't talk about or couldn't say, and nothing political, nothing this, nothing that. Vive le Quebec Lib! Christian and myself sat back at the office and we decided to come up with a concept that's similar to like the Avengers but had a Canadian flavor. We started doing it on our own with our own funds and uh, it limits us in terms of budget and sometimes but we're more free so we can get to tell the stories we want to tell without anybody telling us what to do. I drew up a bunch of concept characters, so Fleur de Lis, the Canadian Shield himself, the Canadian, uh, the Eight Ball, and a couple of others we came up with. This time we got a bunch of writers involved, so we had less work to do. So it was more concepting and planning the gear, the weapons, the fighting. Basically, yeah, we just wanted to explore what it would be a Canadian superhero team. We do know that Medusa agents are currently heavily active in Montreal. I'm assigning the Canadian and yourself to recruit a task force. The guy who plays the Canadian is uh, well known in the musculation uh, uh, industry, like Bianca is known in the fetish world, Marie-Claude is known in the cosplay, uh, Edith is a UFC uh, ring girl and stuff like that. And we wanted to have a, 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 some sort of recognition factor to a certain extent, and also people who look good in the latex, obviously, and somebody who looks like a superhero, like visually. Well, I play a villain, her name is uh, Crimson. And uh, she is an assassin that you can hire her to, uh, well, actually, she goes where the money is. She is a mean version of the Little Red Riding Hood. And, you know, the big bad wolf is actually my psychic. It's a real wolf. I'm one of the villains. My name in the series is Ornette, and I appear only in the last episode. So you're going to have to follow the whole series before you're going to be able to see me. You're going to have to be patient. The day of the last great battle is dawning. There's 20 episodes for the first season, and every five episodes, uh, there's, a, there's a comic book that comes out. The first one is already out. There's going to be a comic book about Crimson, the character played by Bianca. There's going to be a comic book about uh, Madame Doom and different villains. We always try to match a comic, a hero and a villain, and we alternate. Yeah, well, I also play 8-Ball. It's the reluctant hero who becomes a vigilante kind of super soldier hero. And he's a martial artist with a little bit of uh, extra strength, you know? So that's the guy I play. Uh, a lot of people are saying, hey, are you Deadpool or this or that? I am not Deadpool. I have an eight on my chest, all right? It's an eight ball, eight ball. You know what I mean? I have no swords. I use guns. I use the fists. You know, it's eight ball and it's Heroes of the North. I always do a cameo and uh, usually, uh, recently, for the last three films, I do a cameo on fire. I set myself on fire. I'm a human torch. So I play a cameo in the first one as a, a Nazi scientist that's burning. Whitewash. I enjoy being surrounded by all these kids, these guys are their favorite superheroes as well. I used to listen to animes all the time, I see all these Bleach's characters and Naruto is still so popular and I really like it. Well, the best memory I have of Heroes of the North, a part of kicking some ass, is actually I could meet like a wolf and um, it was a real wolf and I went to Bromont which is like an hour away from Montreal and we shot with uh, Lupa the wolf in front of uh, some uh, green screen and it was like totally amazing to uh, be able to pet that gigantic big dog in the end it, it looks like a dog but it has like fangs and it's a bit scary but that really touched me because you know I always loved animals so <laughs> it was very nice <laughs> Look at my smile. <laughs> no, I don't have wolves. I have two chihuahuas and ferrets and a cat, but no, no wolves yet. I didn't have too much stress 
with the fights. All the actors did really well. Larry Vinette, you know, he's a champion bodybuilder. You know, people say, oh, you're a big guy, you can't move. That was bullshit. The guy moved really well. A fighting scene with the Canadian. It was really complicated for me to give punches and to say my takes at the same time. And once I hurt the Canadian, really, but I mean, for real, but it was, it was so kind with me. Bianca Bocha, as we know, uh, Crimson, she was really good. Nice kicks, uh, focused. I didn't have a problem with her. It was bing, bang, boom. She really picked up what I wanted to get across on screen. The fight scene were amazing too, although it was a bit tough to do. Wearing latex can be very hot, it's sexy, but you can sweat a lot. I was fighting one of the heroes because I'm a villain. My name is Renor Dick and at some point in the episode, I just kick her ass. Depending on the looks, depending on the characters, sometimes it's latex, sometimes it's other stuff. This is latex, it has been made by Polymorph, so this is my ornate sexy outfit for the series. In comics, it's uh, very uh, colorful, always colorful costumes and stuff like that. And also we like the reflective nature, the, the shininess of it. It was also skin tight, so it kind of goes with the, the idea that everybody has of a superhero. Because Polymorph was a sponsor of uh, Heroes of the North regarding the uh, latex outfits, he decided to go with Crimson to to shoot his ad for Polymorph. It's a one minute video that is presented before each episode of Heroes of the North on the web. It's free, so anyone who wants to see like Crimson dressing up in kinky latex, well, there you go. You can go on Heroes of the North and you will see it. Those of you out there, get on the web and start pumping in the good vibes and let us know. Um, let's get some money up on this. <laughs> so, Christian, when do we see you in latex? Oh my god, that's all never gonna happen. <laughs> I tried it just to know what I'm gonna ask people to put through, but it's very... Uh, it's not for me and I don't look good in latex, I can guarantee you. <laughs>